I came addicted to the idea of a compulsive film, so I guess when I was 15 years old, and we used to play hooky, go to all the movie theaters for 11 cents. And it was a, almost a hopeless situation because there were no black composers' names on those screens. America was rough back then. We used to have a saying, is that not one drop of my self-worth depends on your acceptance of me. You had to, because you couldn't allow an external force to be the one to identify you. you. Couldn't do that, or you'd be in trouble. He was the one that really opened up the, the whole film scoring scene for, for African-American uh, composers. With all of the things we dreamed, we achieved. Another aspect of Quincy Jones's different take on scoring films in that era was the fact that he would cast his bands, his orchestras, just as a director would cast his film. Man, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do, you know. I'm, I can't drive a car, but I know who does what, how they do it, and how they do it as a collective group, and so forth, that's what I do. Better to have the songs written by your composer and your lyricists. That way, not only can you control the tone and the mood of the songs, but you also own them. A score paints the psyche of a movie. That's the soul of a movie. We call it emotion lotion. <laughs> oh, my!